Well, hello, Graham Stoppers. Look what I got. A lovely big bag of beautiful tomatoes, right? Organic tomatoes. And then I wash them in Kangen water, 11.5 water, high pH water. And uh, this is the second wash, by the way. Uh, so this is not, I mean, the first wash was darker than this. Uh, and I just thought about, you know, I should save this and show people what is on your vegetables. So um, really short video, long story short, wash your vegetables. Just simply wash your vegetables and your fruit. Oh my gosh, um, grapes, apples. Uh, take a look at the most heavily sprayed fruit. I'll put a couple articles below. But I mean, uh, wash that stuff off. And then understand that some of that stuff you can't wash off because it's in the fruit, right? Or it's in the vegetable. It's in the material. It's actually in the cellular matrix. Um, so you can't wash it off. But at the very least, wash off the chemicals that they put on there as preservatives. Because uh, understand that there, you know, there needs to be some uh, spraying of your, but the thing is that these were labeled as organic, right? So you would think that the water would be just a little cleaner than that. But the idea is that uh, in order to get uh, food shipped from A to B without heavy amounts of spoilage, they often will spray it. And a lot of times they'll spray it with uh, glyphosate because it acts as a preservative. But as we know now, glyphosate is definitely a carcinogen. Um, is this a carcinogen? I don't know. You would think that it wouldn't be because it was on an organic product, but I wouldn't drink this. <laughs> would you want to drink this? So uh, the point of this video, very simply, uh, anything you buy from the store that you didn't grow yourself and you don't know what's on there, at least wash it. And uh, if you don't understand what high pH water can do, uh, maybe you should educate yourself a little bit on uh, high pH water. But 11.5 um, water, uh, when you wash your vegetables, they'll actually last longer. I did a little uh, home experiment where I washed my vegetables in 11.5 water. Actually, it was fruit and vegetables. And sure enough, the 11.5 water, um, the stuff that I washed uh, lasted longer in my refrigerator than the stuff that I didn't wash. Interesting. Because I know for a fact that they spray that stuff on there because they think that it makes the stuff last longer and will help in shipping and so forth and, and reduce their spoilage. But it seems to me that if they would clean their vegetables... Uh, properly, you would get all the mold spores and all that other stuff off, and uh, it would last longer. And I've proven it to myself that uh, washing them lasts longer than not. And these are delicious, delicious. Look at these beautiful red tomatoes from, uh, I believe they're from California. And uh, a lot of times what you'll see, definitely grapes, apples, uh, tomatoes, uh, cherry tomatoes, uh, and you'll notice the difference in flavor, too. These will now taste better than the uh, than the ones that aren't washed. You can do a simple taste test, and you will be able to tell. Uh, if I give you a tomato that I washed, and I give you a tomato that I didn't wash, um, you will be able to taste the difference. Uh, they poison us slowly. And see, one dose isn't going to kill you, but, uh, you know, 30 years of that, maybe you develop a disease. Now you go to them to get the uh, pharmaceutical to uh, treat the disease. And uh, lo and behold, you get even sicker. Anyway, uh, the point of the video is wash your vegetables. <laughs> okay, cram stuppers, that's it. Uh, hundredth monkey out, e pluribus unum. Educate self and educate others. You, I mean, the idea is health, without health, you have no wealth. I know lots of men who have lots of money, but no health, right? Uh, so technically they have no wealth because they spend all of their money on trying to chase their health back. And then there's guys like me that I don't have lots of money. Uh, well, d depends on your definition, but I definitely have health because, uh, and it's not by accident. It's because I have done the research and figured out that, oh, well, maybe you don't wanna eat these chemicals. Maybe just possibly. Um, and like I said, uh, if you wash them in regular old tap water, you're probably not gonna get that result. You need to use high pH water. And then you need to understand about high pH water because a lot of times with high pH water, they just add a little baking soda and uh, that kicks the pH up, but that's not high pH water, right? That's water is actually structured by uh, electroplates that uh, strip off and add hydrogens and strip off oxygens. And anyway, I'll put some videos below. Uh, understand they spray your food though and that you need to wash it. Okay, and understand also that a lot of the stuff you can't you can't wash off what's in there. So um, hopefully, uh, because they're organic, the chemical is not actually in the cellular matrix. It was just on the fruit. But uh, 
no guarantees anymore because the FDA, EPA, uh, Department of Agriculture, they're all paid off by the, by the corporations that make chemicals, and you know it. Um, so the best thing to do if you want actual organic food is to grow the stuff yourself, but most of you are not in a position to do that. So the bottom line is, uh, to the best of your ability, clean the stuff that you put in your body, and then also understand that you can detox yourself uh, using high pH water too. Um, and that's it. Anyway, take it easy, Cram Stoppers. E Pluribus Unum. Educate self, educate others.